Roman Reigns won. Fuck you, IWC. The IWC can suck my ass. Black Ranger Power Activate. Well, what the name is, folks? Ow, my chicken. The yeah, so is the good guy. He's not a bad guy. <laughs> he was the guy, Vince. Ask your daughter. What I do, YouTube? Uh, this is Real Wrestling. Back with Real Wrestling episode 44. I got it right this time, damn it. But whatever. Um, my name is Diakis. Introduce yourselves. The Real X Doll. Go ham. Nobody. And put some respect on my name. Why you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Diakis. Um, <laughs> Real Wrestling with 50% more respect. <laughs> <laughs> Is we talking or is we recording? <laughs> <laughs> well, we get ready to put some respect on somebody's name right now. Yeah. Um, recently, we lost, uh, what's her name? Johnny Lauer? Yeah. Lauer. Uh, China died. Um, anybody want to um, pay their respects? I mean, she definitely paved the way for a whole lot of women and a lot of strong women. Unfortunately, WWE, well, I guess their PG deal. You can't have women fighting men, but I'm pretty sure somebody like Karma or Beth Phoenix could have actually followed in China's role in today's era. And she legitimately scared me as a kid. Yeah, she was scary. Uh, uh, Triple H did it dirty. He's still kind of a bitch for that. Oh, uh, that was a double entendre. Uh, <laughs> you said dirt. Shut up. said dinner dirty, not Katie Vick, okay? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> But yeah, pretty much what X Dog said. Uh, she paved the way for uh, women, new a new uh, physique of women's wrestlers. I guess she say. paved the way for Triple H whole career. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you think yeah. about it. Yeah, she was the gateway to the boss's daughter. I mean, she he couldn't like Triple H couldn't get over at all before China came. Yeah, Triple H was over in what not what did that start ninety seven when he got with China. Yeah, about right. That's about ninety seven. Right. Triple H wasn't over at all until he got with China and. He was only over because of China. I mean, before then, the Ultimate Warrior no sold the hell out of his pedigree. I mean, for most guys, that's just a barrier that you just don't recover from, but... I remember, they kept sticking Triple H with all them different women. Nobody gave a fuck. Then they stuck up with Curtis, um, Hughes. Ain't, ain't that what his name was? The big black dude with the box? I think so. That shit, I think, lasted a week. <laughs> they were like, nope, this shit ain't gonna work. Then he come out there with China. Her debut, she bare her the hell out of Marlena. I was like, man, what the hell with that bitch? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Triple H whole career. I will say one thing. Some fans up here trying to get all sick as hell. Like, oh, now she dies. WWE won't put her in the Hall of Fame. I'm like. Oh, they're definitely going to put her in the Hall of Fame. Man. I'm like, for the ones complaining about not, they wait for, her, wait for her to die. Like, y'all do, re I said, y'all do remember she went off on Triple H, Stephanie, Mick Man and Sean Waltman, I'm like, they were not fair in the Hall of Fame unless uh, they were 100% sure that she wasn't going to get on that live mic and say some shit that she should not say on, in the Hall of Fame. Exactly. That's the only reason she's not in the Hall of Fame. It got nothing to do with all that porn yeah, shit. Yeah, the porn is the being excuse. It's the, yeah, exactly. She wasn't going in the Hall of Fame because of the Hall of Fame speech where she could say whatever the fuck she want on WWE TV. I mean, wasn't finna have that shit. Stephanie <laughs> Dale show one for that. I mean, you claim Triple H raped you. You you called Stephanie a whore. You called Vince a pedophile. No, she, she said Sean Waltman uh, raped me. No, she said him and her, him and Triple well, H. Probably both, but basically with Sean Waltman, because when she said it, <laughs> Sean Waltman called in on the radio station. <laughs> oh, wow. He's like, whoa, hold up. <laughs> whoa, hold up. Bruh. <laughs> he just Bruh. happened to be listening. Like, what the hell? But I mean... I mean, you saying that about the people who are running the company. Well, at least she ain't saying that about Shane, at least. But you saying something about the people running the company. Of course you're not going to the Hall of Fame. But obviously she should be in the. She should she's be the in first the to do damn near everything for her. Stephanie actually said it, she will be in the Hall of Fame. So yeah, she's going in now. It's guaranteed. Maybe she headlined it um, for Maybe. 2017. I don't know about headlining. She won't headline because she ain't alive. Oh, yeah, that is. Because otherwise Macho Man would have headlined. If they, they went with Diesel. Yeah, rest in peace. Yep, she's one of, still one of my favorite wrestlers, well, female wrestlers. Um, then, you know, this wrestling, then my boy Prince. Yeah. 
Damn. He did a lot of wrestling this time. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he liked to play fight. <laughs> I know. I was still shocked that, you know, today Chappelle made a skit of it. Prince was actually an All-American at basketball, so he was actually legitimately good at playing basketball. Yeah, I didn't know that either. That's crazy. <laughs> so, in other words, he would have probably beat most people in a blouse. <laughs> <laughs> well, Charlie Murphy did say those stories are true. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, like... And <laughs> turn around and Rick James corroborated, saying, yeah, I heard that, and I didn't talk to him for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> when I found that that Prince... Beat him at basketball. <laughs> Rick James apparently did not like Prince. All right. Um, next thing we want to talk about is um, Finn losing the NXT title at a fucking house show. I guess it had to be done, but it's more the fact that your marquee title being handed over during the during the house show is kind of it's kind of uh, lame to me a bit. I get the voting spoiler so that way the people who saw the house are saw it live, but... I like it because it tells you that these NXT live events are must-see. Anything that can, can happen. It's so much shit that happened at the that happens at the NXT live events. It's like, man, the WWE just tried some of this shit. Yeah, we... I mean... I don't want to measure the amount of salt that I pile up outside of Stanford... If I hear on Twitter Roman Reigns lost his title, lost his title to AJ Styles, and, and Roanoke, where, Roanoke, where the hell is Virginia, it? <laughs> Roanoke, Virginia, and uh, it's on house show on Thursday. Yeah, you ain't gotta worry about that. That that <laughs> will blow. Roman's champion, he's losing that title. Um, no, I mean, if the, I mean, if they I did, hear what you're saying, but like that. I'm just saying in that answer, now you ain't gotta worry about Roman losing AJ Styles, maybe. Well, he if he was a champion, he wins. Who's the Roman in the house show? <clears throat> oh, they tell me that he's coming to the main roster. So yeah, that means Samoa. They always do this. Samoa Joe probably to send him there. And, right? and, and this is a spoiler <laughs> alert, but um, they they are doing my plan. They are setting up for the rematch for the title at the next takeover. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be Sam versus Joe. Again. Which yeah, for the fourth time, be our third. Yeah. Which is uh, Cause I don't live in Lowell Whatever the fuck they was <laughs> Lowell something Yeah if anything I think that's what Samoa Joe won his first TNA title So yeah. His only TNA title Which is It's TNA world So title. I'm gonna keep it a track Which of that just, the world, no. It's only TNA world So that's disgusting that Man he been there nine years And won a title once Man but what Kurt, kind of But Kurt Angle come in Winning three times Three on, By 20 30 <laughs> times <laughs> He's on 20 times He's like 20 times 40 times 40 times <laughs> They ain't sleep with the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Anderson had more reigns than Samoa Joe. Yeah, How about that? Steiner said it best. He's fat. <laughs> I wonder if they sent him their brain stroke yet. <laughs> but this is normally how they do. Fans gonna lose in in the next match, and they're just gonna make his way to the main roster. I'm much rather them hold Finn out to leave money in the bank, maybe Summers debut at SummerSlam. No, he probably will. Mm-hmm. This will be June. So, yeah. Money in the Bank will already pass unless he debut at Money in the Bank, which is the June pay-per-view. Well, I don't know. Um, the only thing I can say about Finn losing is he didn't lose while he was the Demon. Knowing the next takeover, he's going to become the Demon. Will Samoa Joe be the first motherfucker to actually defeat that motherfucker? Yeah, I wouldn't do it. See, I would have Finn wrestle normal. Yeah, me too, Joe. because I want you want to protect that as much as possible. I'd say protect the demon or whatever it is yeah. as much if, as possible. If Finn has to lose here, he shouldn't go. But it would be smart for Finn to go demon. and you, he, he ain't got to go out on TV and use it as an excuse. Uh, that's how Joe won. But you can say, you didn't beat me as a demon. And then that could be the build to us in that match. That could be something Joe want to say. Like, I want to beat the demon. Then if you have Joe do that and he does beat the Demon Fan Battle, that put Joe on a whole another level. And now who's gonna be Joe? Exactly. Well, that's um, that's gonna be easy because this year John Cena is gonna beat him. Cause I'm pretty sure before by the time we get to our slam, is Nakamura is probably gonna have about seven or eight nominations for Magic <laughs> oh, Year. Forgot about Nakamura. <laughs> Nakamura will beat Joe for the title. That's gonna happen. Unless Nakamura gets fast tracked to the main 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 roster, well, that's that's gonna happen too. Uh, I'm not <laughs> sure his English sucks. That's why he's in NXT. Because 
because the plan was to have him skip the main, I mean, skip NXT yep. too, but he can't speak a lick of English. Well, he can speak like English, but he sucks at it. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna wrestle in NXT because NXT ain't gonna have him do a lot of mic. They're gonna then they're gonna work on the English like they were doing with Hideo and Tommy. All the nigga gotta say is strong style, and he's over. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, but first of all, Nakamura don't have to speak a word. Yeah. But in WWE, the main roster, you have to talk. I mean, they could get him with Paul Heyman. Paul, the downside of Paul Heyman is that whenever Paul Heyman's with anybody, the there's always the specter no, of the beast. No, no. I didn't say give him Paul Heyman. I said, yeah. oh, Paul oh, Heyman. Heyman. Like, the, I was about to say, we need, we need somebody like a Yamaguchi son. Yeah, since he's the king of strong style, like, he could have somebody that his advisor that speaks for him. Yeah, a, like a Japanese guy who speaks such strong promos as Paul Heyman. Well, he ain't got to be Paul Heyman level. He just well, got to be able to speak strong promo, well, like yeah, strong promo. Yeah. You know, for Nakamura. It's, it's a shame that they just released a guy who could easily do that. Hell no. no. See, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I was talking about somebody Japanese. Not that uh, xenophobic joke. Oh, okay. Jack Swagger got released. Now I'm talking oh, about. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. It wouldn't surprise me though. Like, I was saying, like, give him a Japanese guy who could speak strong promo, like how Yamaguchi son, because Yamaguchi son could speak um. That's yeah. a good promo. I mean, Remember, nobody in contact can speak English. That's Funaki, why. well, they've had Funaki do that shit for like Oscar, and then they did that shit for um, almost but for uh. He can't cut good promos. He just talk like his best when he talk normal. It's in Japanese. Yeah. When he talks English, he sounds like he don't really know the language. Okay. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Vince is not subscribed to a bunch of Weibo fans, so. So the most of the main roster fans aren't going to love. Most of the main roster fans aren't going to love him yelling in Japanese and they not understand a, a lick of what he's saying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it would be funny to do his promos. They subtitle his promos. That would be funny. <laughs> but but that that's, that got comedy written all over, and I don't want none of that on Nakamura. <laughs> and he's Japanese, so the ste- so like I said, the stereotypes are going to mess it up. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I can already see which, some of the dumb shit now. Which, so, uh, which, which guy did say about Zell, said about that uh, Jack Swagger get released? Uh, he didn't, but uh, Zeb's gone. Mouthpiece did. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah. let's talk about the recent releases. Hornswoggle. Uh, Actually, uh, most no, of the concept should be happy as hell. Yeah, that thank, yeah, got thank God. Actually, There'll be no more anonymous GM story. Like that. Thing is, none of them surprise me. None of, them. none of them, but Damon saying that it disappointed me because of how they treated him. Yeah, but no, other than that, none of them surprised. I'm surprised he was even, part of the social outcast. Even for Sandow, all I say about including Sandow, sadly, is girl bye. But you know the one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that hashtag, Cameron. The, the one, I, the one I'm so happy the most is goddamn Alex Riley. <laughs> I guess and next Fuck week that on, guy. And next week on NXT, his last, the last thing we'll see him is getting destroyed by Nakamura. Good, good, good. I can't wait. Get to the see fuck him. out. He deserves it. Nakamura's okay. gonna murk Riley. Good. Let's see. Mark, Nakamura finna have a death. <laughs> no, I think I think concept is it's like everyone with the who worked with the Miz end up having bad results at the end of it. Yes. Alex Speak. Riley getting released. Miz now get get released. <laughs> Dan Bryan, re- Bryan can't wrestle. Morrison <laughs> got released. John Morrison got released. Who? <laughs> Johnny Mundo. <laughs> Johnny Mundo. <laughs> he did. Boy, he should have went killed. He should have went. He should have went to the Indies for real. Cause he <laughs> he should have started Indies. Cause oh my goodness, he sucked. <laughs> Alex Riley's gone. <laughs> the only thing now, if he would have probably married them, then Dave, nothing bad would happen. But no, he was partners with him. Everything bad happened. Cameron, oh my goodness. Doing that damn leg split and then yell for the referee to count the pin. And I'm like, bitch, the girl's face down. All <laughs> right, that tell you, oh, yeah. She should she should have got released that day. <laughs> no, she did go on Twitter for a rant by like, what? I understand what you're talking about. Got that one. One. I'm like, fans begin her shit just because she did that and her whole favorite match was something. Melina like versus Alicia Fox. Like, I love the meme of the Everybody in the company is not hardcore wrestling fan. Brock Lesnar just treats it as a job. He doesn't, Brock Lesnar doesn't give a fuck about the culture at all. He's like, I check in, do my job, I go home. So I'm like, everybody who's in WWE isn't deep into the history of the company. Sad Tito being released. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I forgot he worked there. Honestly. No, well, me too. He, like, retired. He, was still in the he retired. He was 
after that came out, Wade Barrett, when I first checked it out, Wade Barrett, like, tweeted, like, I was watch, I was reading ODQ, and he literally tweeted while I was reading that he ended his contract, him and WWE mutually ended. You know, it's the big right. guy might be well, joining him. But, I mean, Probably. Barrett case, I mean, I can't say he ended up in the same situation as said, though. Barrett problem is, that nigga was made of glass. <laughs> Every time he did get a push, he got injured. Yeah, Barrett was injury prone. That would stop him. The bad news, Barrett, you know. I mean, let's say more than 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 And then, uh, let's see. He had the Nexus storyline, which was huge, and then... And his name is John C. <laughs> Yeah. If nah, Nexus, that, nah, the Nexus was killed before everybody started getting hurt. Yeah. <laughs> and then for the Nexus, Nexus still hurt Barrett's career. Barrett just sucks as a performer. Kind of like, that is so old. The folks keep like, like, who actually remembers Nexus Silver? People who keep bringing it up. Oh, I knew, the that, that beat now was epic. <laughs> the reason that Nexus' well, debut you know, was amazing. I'm like, if was, was Barrett was red hats and... They did nothing. They cooled that that lost to Cena. He was done after that. There was nowhere for him to go because it, it, it was almost similar to the CM Punk situation when Triple H came out of retirement. But in this case, Barry had year after years, and then he got back over with the um bad news part. It's no different than Triple H, like how the Warrior basically buried him with that crowd. Like if you just can't get over after all these years, where most fans forgot about it. <laughs> like, that's more on you as a performer than anything. Well, Barrett had so many uh, chances. Barrett should have turned face, and they did not do it. They kind of did a bad news. When, a when Barrett came back from the shoulder injury, they were showing them the, the uh, vignettes of him just in the alley boxing people, which was his background. I'm like, okay, he's going to come back as like a serious threat. They're going to turn him face and they're going to push him. Nope, that nigga came back and said, Oh, uh, the bear is open for hire. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, they, if the bear's not going to turn a face, he's not going to get over. Because then they gave him a gimmick where clearly you should be a face, and they kept you healed. Huh? You can't be a face delivering bad news. He was over. No, but it was uh, hilarious. He was then cheered. I mean, you come out there and yeah, give but, bad news. It's funny. But, but here's a, here's a run, a face is somebody who's actually good, not somebody who just got to get cheered. No, I said, Roman's a face, <laughs> no matter. why they should have turned him face. That's what I was saying. No, I'm talking about face. Well, if he's who's delivering bad news guy. to Peter. I agree with you, but he should have became a good guy. Yeah, Not but delivering bad that, news? No, okay. you can deliver bad news, but you can deliver it to the heels and exactly. the faces. Or you're not doing it at the fans. You're going to say... Okay. I don't want to be. It won't be as funny though. All right, I, I agree. I don't yeah. want to be all day on Barry. Yeah. Who else got remember? Uh, nobody else important. Oh, yeah. Exactly. yeah. I, th- I think... I think Tari- Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lucha uh, Underground. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Torito versus Mascarita Sangrito. El Torito got released, too. Yeah, El Torito. Well, there's no Matador, so why did yeah. they don't need a bull? Because now they're Puerto Rican assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the only payoff I can see about them being Puerto Rican assholes is if their cool older brother comes back, too. Yeah, no. That's the only thing I can say, though. Yeah, um, They're going to come back. They don't want to be saved. Crickets. I'm going to say one thing about them. Why, if, that, if that whole vignette's about how good Puerto Rico is, why the fuck are y'all coming here? Like, I don't get a point of y'all coming. Stay in Puerto Rico. They're uh, rubbing our faces. Obviously, they didn't watch that John uh, Oliver, uh, John that, Oliver uh, bit about Puerto Rico and how yeah. horrible it is over there. Yeah. <laughs> but... So we talking about uh, releases and somebody who might end up being released soon, Ryback. I think with Ryback, I think he's got the best thing with the... I think he's going to be go to Japan and be the new Gaijin monster. And Ryback talking about... First of all, when he's... First of all, at first he said it's not about the money. I'm like, okay. Now about then, two sentences later, he goes on this long-ass rant that's <laughs> all about the money. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, what are you saying? And they're like, okay, and I'm like, yes, I just, yes, I get what you're saying. That yes, even the jobs are important because somebody has to lose for everybody else to look good. But his thing, you can't pay every superstar equally. No, what he means by is that if we're both mid carders and we're in the mid card match, we should be getting paid equally. If I'm eating the L. You shouldn't get paid more just because you won. Oh no! That's what. That's all. No, <laughs> what it boils down to is the fact that if we're both mid carders. Then the fact is, if our, I mean that, and you win, you shouldn't be getting paid extra, even though because I eat the L. 
That means some mid cards are getting paid more than what they should be getting paid, and some That's are getting different. paid way less than what they should be getting well, paid. Well, he's just well, and no, the way contracts are structured, it's all about how contracts. Are. But, but, he, but even but even Mets are shut that down. Like that's not how it works in WWE. Ryback, right is it Ryback right going to the brand? Like that just doesn't work. But what Ryback right is saying, if it's predetermined, sport, and we all know it is, if the if this says Ryback, right you're going to lose to Rusev, and Ryback right goes out there and lose to Rusev, Rusev shouldn't get paid more than Ryback. Right yeah, but that's what Ryback is saying. But the problem is that's not how that contract is even structured in the first place. Yeah, because Ryback still has more years on him than Rusev, so then, he should have renegotiated his damn contract. But at the same time, Mets are even explained. That's not how the contract is even structured in the first place. But the other thing was about it. Is, the other thing about it was for Ryback case, what he's saying like, okay, it's predetermined, so WWE is less like a sport and more like uh, a that's movie, so more like a movie or soap opera. But guess what? You're paying. You're going to pay um. Tony Stark, oh, damn, I forgot his name. Robert Downey Jr. You would pay Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> way more than you paying the damn extra who just got his ass kicked for one scene. <laughs> no, that's he's different, were, though. He's, he's the important. star of the movie. Okay, then. So, R- Roman Reigns getting paid more than Robert makes sense. He draws more fans. He draws more Pause. attention. Yes. Pause. But if, remember how WWE contracts work. You get paid based on your card position. So, if you're in the main event, of course you're going to get paid more than just the fucking opening match. But that's I mean, but that's that was, different though. That was CM Punk's argument. But even, like I said, one, I'm trying not to hold the recording, I'm trying to read five minutes of quote. But thing is, <laughs> when it comes to, but when it comes to them getting paid evenly, that's it. That doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. Cause even if among mid cards, different guys are more popular than the others. So some guys you're gonna be overpaying. Some guys you'll be paying overpaying as in the mid card. And other guys would be underpaid if they had to go down to be to be even with everybody else. Yeah. Oh. It really depends on who's who's for events in the country <coughs> consider mid carders. Cause Rusev and them guys clearly get more attention than most of the other mid carders. Kevin Owens is booked like a mid card is a mid card at the moment, but he's infinitely more popular than Ryback. It's, so, so, it's basically value. It's based on what you the point you brought up earlier about the movie thing. It's how you value. John Cena's gonna get paid more because he's the star. That's who I want. So John Cena is the star. Everybody else, you just get paid what I decide to pay you. And John Cena ain't stealing even the highest paid person. He I is. Mean, he's the highest paid wrestler. For right now, Keyword. he is. Keyword is that currently he's the highest paid wrestler. Oh, I thought Brock made no, more. No, 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 no. Brock's not making more than Cena. Oh. Brock's, Brock's contract made, structure is completely different. They, Forbes did a top 10 list most paid superstars. John Cena makes about three times as much as Brock Lesnar. Now, no. if Brock decided to wrestle full time, he would probably be on the same level as Cena. Pretty, just about. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he wrestled full time. Yeah, he'd probably be up there with Cena or yeah. Tidewell. But because of his part time schedule, he get paid based off appearances. He probably get paid more in one appearance than Cena gets paid. Yes, he does yeah, that. But yeah. But the contract they said was around, I think, three years, three million dollars plus incentives. But let's face it, when Cena starts Ooh, to wind incentives. down and Cena wants to get paid in appearances, he'll be making probably j- just as much as Brock for an appearance. I understand, Robert, but cool. about payment, but talking about they should be paid evenly, I'm like, just got all y'all are important. I'm like, nah, right, right. It just don't work that way. It don't. <laughs> Come like, you gonna draw way more merchandise. <laughs> yeah, but let's go into payback. Um, let's start off with the um <laughs> the scores. Uh, oh, before we do that, let's go. Let's go into scores, everybody, for payback. Huh. Uh, my original score is nine point three. But then, quickly that dropped because of an issue, <laughs> and is right now it's got to cover an eight and a half. Oh, Mine, that's not that bad. Mine was a uh, seven and a half. Great pay per view, just some janky, a couple of janky ass endings. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it an eight. I put it around seven and a half too. Oh, yeah, hey, everybody favorite second. Action was Whoa, good, but mine. didn't resolve shit. Oh, Diaga's nap time. Let me see here. Okay. Uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Baron Corbin. Roll up. Negative 15,000. <laughs> of course. Ryback versus Callisto. Ryback just coming out and doing that shit. Man, plus 15,000. The match <laughs> itself was not that bad. Uh, plus 38. Um, Enzo and Boring Kyle Cassidy. 
This is one I'm gonna give an NA to because I don't know how that would have ended. So I'm giving it an NA. I'm you, being I'm being honest. You mind if I butt in for a second? Yes. The rumor is that the uh, that uh, the Vaughn villains were gonna go over. Yeah, that's obvious though. Yeah. All right. Go continue. That's- Thank you for asking to butt in during Diaka's math. We you are forgiven. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let me see. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, contender for match of the year, plus one million points. Yes, yes. <laughs> contender. <laughs> Nakamura was up. Yeah, tr- trust me. If I did Diaka's math on NXT, that match would got plus a ten million. Okay, <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. Let me see here. Uh, the Miz versus Cesaro. How did this match end? <laughs> Damn Roma. Negative 15,000 again. <laughs> now the part... No, wait. Actually, the segue into this match, that was plus 30,000 because Kevin Owens went the fuck in. That shit was awesome. And then <laughs> he joined commentary. You think a big guy like that would be, you know, be like, man, fuck this shit. I'm about to get me a drink, eat a steak dinner and be done. No, he did commentary after that. Great plus commentary. a plus a negative five thousand for your interruption. <laughs> plus ten thousand for Kevin Owens doing commentary. <laughs> All right, the Miz versus Cesaro. Did I did I already get yes. the score? I give it another negative one million points <laughs> because, dude, I hate roll ups. But then again, I have to give it a plus five hundred thousand because that that was the only way the Miz was gonna pin Cesaro that night. <laughs> it had to be some outside interference. All right, um, Ambrose versus Jericho. Let me see here. What do I give this match? Hmm. How many times did Dean Ambrose try to go for that dirty deed? Like nine, ten. Seems like it. Plus seven. <laughs> That's it. Plus seven. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Charlotte versus Natalia. Ooh. Negative one hundred million. I fucking hated this shit. Uh, I hate it it's so fucking much. Hell no, Whitey. Uh, don't, just wait till we talk about it. Oh my yes, God. Whitey. Uh, the Whitey. only thing worse than a Rolla is a, is a Montreal. This is true. Yeah, that is yes. true. Plus, <laughs> plus, um, plus 50 million for your um, accurate assumption. That's not a porn move, too. What? A Montreal. <laughs> 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 Uh, plus the other fifty million for that great assumption. A Montreal blue job. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a Montreal job. <laughs> <laughs> to get the job, you got to do the job. Can't <laughs> say it right. To get the job, you must do the job. Negative fifteen thousand points. Sometimes all the screw. <laughs> plus fifteen thousand points. Okay. <laughs> Last match, uh, Roman Reigns. Oh wait, wait, wait! The power struggle angle. Hmm. How are you? <sighs> Plus oh. thirty-four D. Because I don't believe that's what Stephanie's st- breast size so is. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's don't like to mention that. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> no, I, no. I, I just said measure. That means I have to actually measure. Oh, okay. I see what you did there. <laughs> well, uh, why don't you ask the gamer? Uh, I asked Dean Ambrose. Yeah, he all mastered right. all titties. All right. <laughs> um, Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles. Um, I have to give this match, to be honest with you, a um, a nine point five. But minus all, but, but but minus all three falls, that'd be uh, a six point five. Um, take the derivative of that, then you take the square root of that, divide that by three. And add ten to it. I'd have to give that match a plus uh, six point seventeen. So <laughs> overall, originally my score, if you haven't watched uh, the Diakis review, it was an eight point three. But since I really hated that screw job bullshit, it's dropped to a seven point nine, <laughs> and that's my score. Thank you for listening to Diakis math. Continue. Yeah, well, I guess they mean Baron Corbin. Oh, yeah. First match, Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler. What, what do you think of this match? I saw a replay. I love the match. And also, the funny thing is that I said, when well, I connect for interest, that um, Baron Corbin has tripped me out. With the <laughs> lights? Yeah. <laughs> they had it. They, just, they changed it red. Now it do look like the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So, 
But he will he will whooping Dolph's ass most of that match. Mm-hmm. And sadly he does sadly he does the normal heel thing, which why I didn't mind him losing. He was healing it up, taking his own sweet time, basking <laughs> in his glory. And every time somebody does that to Dolph, one or two things happen. You get sweet chin music, well, sweet chin music, or you get rolled up. In this case, Dolph rolled him up and won. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, in this case, a veteran, basically a veteran taking advantage of a rookie, making a rookie mistake. Well, when you word it like that, um, no, I don't want to know about veterans taking advantage of rookies. Kalisto versus Ryback for the, the United- pre-show stopper. <laughs> I will say, I will say this. This part of me, every time I see this, it keep making me think. Damn it, Gohan could be right about the U.S. title. I'm like Vince. If you want people watch the pre-show, I understand. But can you at least rotate? Wet match takes the spot. Does it have to be the U.S. title three shows in a row? You know, it's been good matches, but. <laughs> I didn't even know with three times in the short time I thought about Fazlay. I'm like, you damn right. You know, like, it was two out of three falls on Fazlay. Could you, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn could have been put in if you want to, if you want, how long this went? Eight minutes, 45 seconds, so it went a decent bit. Yeah. I mean, you could put a grudge match here. I mean, at least. I mean, give a grudge match or something? Does it have to always be the U.S. title? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great match. We could have had Emma and Becky Lynch in that spot. The problem is then, where do you put Kalisto? You can't put him on the main show. Why not? You could put him in. There was no room. Uh, room got made real fast on the show. Room that didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> and boy, I would have loved for that match to take over the space that should happen. Yeah. But, Ryback, right oh my goodness. Then in Chicago, Ryback right does the CM Punk clobbering time time on his entrance. And I'm like, yes, Ryback. Right that now you show personality when you go on your rampage on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> now you showing more personality, but he clearly he clearly wanted them to look at this match. Yes. <laughs> not even going by what he did the entrance, just the match itself. Ryback put on a show. Yeah, he mm-hmm. did. And he dispro- and he showed that he's no longer dumb as fuck because he saved Callisto from possible disaster in that match. And then Master still sell the move correctly. Yeah. I mean, so, it was obvious, but you was like, okay, what else could he do there? Yeah. So, I'll give him that. I saw just a replay before the uh, end of the match. He appeared to be going for the uh, GTS. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, you know what a lot of people say? I thought he was going for the shell shop. He probably was, but it oh, looks nah, funnier he, to say the GTS. He didn't have it, it, it. The reason it looked different because he didn't have the leg hook. He had yeah. a... Like he didn't have him in a uh, in like a Samoan drop carry. thing. He didn't have he didn't, a fireman's uh, carry. Yeah, he didn't have him in a fireman's carry. He had him in a shell shot. Because well, he felt so uh, goddamn small uh, that it didn't appear that way. He should have did it. <laughs> I, I would have loved for the GT. I would have died laughing. Ryback that that would have been moment of the night. <laughs> yeah, but I'm afraid Ryback might have would, would uh, be a little overzealous for yeah, that. Yeah, I think he would have killed him. He, well, yeah, he probably would have burned Concussion. him. I don't know. It might be on Kalisto if he if he not put his hands in front of his face. Yeah, like one guy we know. Um, really, really good match. Should have been on the main card. Yeah. Vince, you made the pre-show worth watching, but did it have to be a U.S. title three times in a row? <laughs> yes. Yes, that was oh, great. If they do Rusev, I only listen to me. If they do Rusev versus Kalisto for the United States title in the pre-show. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> really I will be done. I'm going to solve a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'll have then, the rematch, then the rematch Then the rematch be on the next pre-show. And I hope Booker T commentates the match for him to say five times. Rusev is not pre sale material. He's main card. The only good thing that comes from Kalisto is that uh, Mar- Mario Ronaldo is calling all his matches. Oh, uh, <laughs> He made that goddamn match. That was even the, even the commentary was good for that match. Yeah. Think he had Byron with him. Uh, could have had somebody better. Other black guy. Uh, yeah, they could have Booker T. Burn. Hey, that actually would have worked. I would that I wouldn't mind another nice team. Yeah. I said this and you said I would not listen to Booker T every week. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to listen to Booker T every week. I just thought about it. It's just that when, when you mention Booker T, the first thing that came to my mind was hell no. <laughs> I, still, I still think that. But, but I think about how Booker T is. Yeah. And some of the shit Booker T be saying, not the goofy shit he be saying, but when he say shit like, "Come on, man!" Like, do you actually think he could beat what's the name? That won't that won't play off with Nala. 
Enzo I Amore remember. and Colin Cassidy versus Man. the Voodoo Villains. Enzo and Cass promo before this shit started was amazing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Especially when Cass went and time making out of Hey Honor reference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They be flexing their muscle like they honor. More like Hey Honor. <laughs> <laughs> and we're putting their football head. You should have left the stoop. <laughs> <laughs> That shit had me dying yeah. laughing. Yeah. And that all came from Cass. I, th- I thought Enzo was the funny man. Yeah, Cass is caught up. He is caught up from the beginning of NFC. Yeah. So, apparently getting good at promos, you can teach that. <laughs> Cassidy just, he worked off of Enzo really well. Just, Enzo is just the, remember, trash talker Skywalker of the two. Oh my goodness. They slayed the Dudley's. <laughs> man. <laughs> Boy, did they? <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I'm like, I was just signed through a whole promo. Like he killed it, but uh, Simon Gotch botched the hell out of uh, Enzo. Enzo hit that <coughs> second rope out, knocked out Cole. He hit the ring, tumbled outside, and uh, the life sucked out the crowd. What's the Roman if he came out there? Man, that, that's a serious shit, man. Yeah. You know, I, I hate to say this, but uh, I'm. This is one of the few times where it's like, thank God it was a concussion instead yeah. of a neck injury. I don't yeah. think he got knocked out when he hit the second rope. It was that when he slammed on the mat. When he hit the mat, yeah. yeah. The real thing, they got a slow motion. When he hit that rope, he just went completely limp. He didn't even move well, off of that hit. Could be. That's why he couldn't protect his head from hitting the mat. Yeah, it could be because uh, they had an interview. There was an interview posted on the internet, Bret Hart. Said him and Ric Flair were talking. He said he might have broke his neck. Yeah, and then he he also said the ropes are kind of like a uh, steel bars. Yeah, the ropes are padded with steel, and I think the middle rope is definitely tight. It's definitely much tighter than the top and bottom rope, I believe. Yeah, it is. So him hitting that, he hit the worst rope. But uh, for that spot, I mean, I, as I know, I know it got through him way too close. But I'm not sure because Enzo just just rebounded like normal, and then this. We did the spot. Well, like Stone Cold said, he threw him too hard. He threw him too hard. No, I mean, but, I mean, he threw him real hard, but he went for the slide anyway. Yeah. Like, he could just Irish bounce off the ropes, and, you know, just watch how this duck down or Enzo goes over the top, and then just redo the baseball slide thing. Yeah, that, that was the problem. He threw him so hard that Enzo didn't have time to really slide. And they went for the slide, but he was already at yeah. the rope. By the time he slid, he was at the rope. At the rope, yeah. No, I was like, man, maybe he should have stayed up right and just bounced off and just redid the spot. Yeah. But we didn't, we didn't, we didn't talk about the new day before this though. Like, they came out there and did their little promo. Yeah. Uh, and of course, they they went after Birdman. <laughs> <laughs> Start drinking lemonade too. They yeah, gotta, they were drinking yeah, lemonade. Yeah, they had lemonade. <laughs> oh it's hard. It's hard to put some respect on guys who are wearing unicorn horns on their heads, though. <laughs> but it and works. It was said, BSA, if you want to get the revenge of your team, man, my DMs are always open. <laughs> yeah, it goes down in the DM. It, goes down in the DM. <laughs> it definitely goes down in the DM. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so we on that. Might we just. Of course, on Raw, uh, Big E and Kofi, a bunch of haters up here calling them out on yeah, that. That shit was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they went to it. Nope, nope, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. <laughs> tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> Beyonce did not slide into my DM. <laughs> I'm, surprised. I'm surprised she never did. I mean, come on, man. But they would have got some balls to try that shit on national TV, especially since he just got married. Oh, <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm like, I'm like all right, have your wife gonna slide to your DMs and give you give give you some papers? <laughs> We're gonna have all kinds of R and B albums. <laughs> all kinds. But as soon as we find the hell on the outside of the ring, these niggas eat donuts and pizza. Yep. <laughs> Pock on there, enjoy yeah, that shit. Yeah, right. like, we enjoying our fun. It all, all, all got sucked out. Yeah, yeah. But then for the vibe villains. Well, if the rumor is correct that they were supposed to go over, it is interesting because he said Vince McMahon finds that gimmick pretty stupid that the Vibe have. And I'm like, I understand where you come from because even in NXT, after he lost the titles, the Vibe Villains popularity was dropping. Yeah. The most over thing about them was for a while with Blue Pants actually showed up at even their numbers. But they were supposed to go over. I'm like, he thinks it's stupid. He's still pushing well, it. To me, it was obvious they were supposed to go over. And it's not that they're getting pushed, even though, yeah, they are. 
well, a little bit, but it's like what uh, it's like what the concept I always say. The the new they need bodies, and that's why I looked at. I'm like, okay, they're not gonna save Enzo and Cass. They're saving that match, so I'm pretty sure they're just gonna have the body then they take them on. They get beat. Cause I think it would be stupid to put the tag team title on the Vibe Villains. But, but if they do it, I wouldn't be mad. But, but still. What annoyed me on Raw for the Vibe Villains is they used that promo to get heat, and they barely got any heat out of it. I'm like, we got some boos, but the crowd was treating it like it was Seamus talking. Yeah. Like, they didn't have much of a reaction. I'm like, come on, man. Just think about it. Think about it, NXT. They, um... Who who they st- get the belts from? They got the belts from the two is two the one, one of the most lamest tag teams ever. Blake and fucking Murphy. Jeez, <laughs> those guys have no charisma whatsoever. Man, they're over because of Alexa Bliss. That's it. I mean, like if, if you take her out of the group, they are they're water. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that's look how at they before they, before she was around them. They were just there. Yeah, they were just decent. They were pretty good wrestlers. That's it. And somebody was smart enough to say, hey. Let's stick somebody with you. Let's stick this hot chick with him and turn her heel. Yep. And there make sure go. and give her a pair of two tight shorts and bam, here we go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Um, next match. Yeah. All match right. To the year candidate. Yes. Goku versus Vegeta. <laughs> All one versus Zayn. Yeah. <laughs> All one versus Zayn. Match like everything. Yeah. It doesn't do this forever. <laughs> Fight forever. <laughs> So we got our new Cena order. <laughs> Except much. they it's actually have chemistry. And charisma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll be above. <laughs> order, order's problem was his chemistry involved cancer sticks, so. That, and Diana Ball. <laughs> you well, think. <laughs> As usual with their matches, like, they're always a good match, always entertaining, but the most, the most entertaining thing for me about this match is the ending. Kevin Owens wins, and he goes to the announce table. Because uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there ain't really no spots to talk about. What I do like about this match was there wasn't no k- whole bunch of kicking out of finishing. Yes. It yeah. took one pop-up powerbomb, yep. and we never seen a halubi kick. There you go. Like, why we can't all get this no more? I'll touch on that for. when we get to Jericho Stop match. kicking out of finishes. That's all I asked for. One thing that really made me mad about this match was when Cole miscalled him. Let's call the damn Blue Thunder uh, driver. He called it a Michinoku driver. No, what? no, no. Whatever. He called the Michinoku way. driver the blue a Blue Thund- Thunder Bomb. Yeah. yeah. Because I guess he knew the Blue Thunder Bomb was the next move coming up. Because right after that, they did hit the Blue Thunder Bomb. Then yeah. he called it the Blue Thund- Thunder Bomb again. <laughs> that yeah. shit's so like. <sighs> I didn't complain about it. So like, at least he knows what a Michinoku drive. I mean, at least he knows what the Blue Thunder Bomb is. Yeah. At least he called it something. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> I like Byron. He was just sitting there like, mm-hmm, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm get started with Byron. That's I'm glad Kevin Owens did what he did to him. Yeah. <laughs> Man, this bitch. <laughs> Other black guy. All right. That, that was just funny, man, because Kevin called him to get in the ring, the interviewer, and told him to ask him about being seven days. He's going to ask him a whole different question. He was like, that's not what I asked you, but I'm going to ask him a stupid question anyway. <laughs> <laughs> And he was like, since you just interrupted me after I finally beat Sammy Zayn. I was like, he didn't interrupt him. You called him in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like, oh, dude. And then, this is what I do like about his post promo. Is that Kevin Owens said, finally, I'm done with Sammy Zayn. I can focus on getting back my Intercontinental Championship. Somebody actually wants that damn belt. And actually cares about being the Intercontinental Champion. That's how you'll make the title valuable again when you have four people, which you do right now, who actually wants the belt. Yep. Yeah. Then, of course, we got Kevin Owens on commentary, and that was, like, probably the best thing of the night. Yeah. <laughs> but then we go, that leads right to Ms. x Doll Girl is back, Maurice. <laughs> Versus Cesaro for the Intercontinental Championship. First of all, got my favorite interest in wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> that 007 interest. Yep. Kevin Owens on commentary and Maurice being out there did not take away from the match. Man, because yeah. the viral was a beast in the ring. Yeah. But man, it was all right, you know. He like I said, you ain't, if you have a good character, you could be just a decent wrestling but and get over. If you you ain't got to be a great wrestler. Just be decent. You said on my quick tale, I said, Miz Moneymaker is his mouth. It's not his hands and feet. <laughs> no, Miz Moneymaker was on the outside of the ring. No. <laughs> now he's relevant again. You take you take Maurice out of this and we don't give a fuck about Miz. I still kind of don't. 
Hey, the 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 oh, well, well, guess what? Now when men come to the ring, he has a beautiful woman out there that you can hey, really look at. And, also, and she is great on the mic. But Miz was also, especially during WrestleMania, he played the fuck out of that crowd in, um, in Dallas before uh, Zack Ryder stole Miz's title. But the way I looked at it was, <laughs> oh, God damn it, the Miz. <laughs> hey, that's how I looked at it. Hey, you're supposed to. He, you ain't supposed to like the Miz. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm supposed to hate the Miz. I'm not supposed to hate the Miz because I'm, he's just a boring character. I'm supposed to hate the Miz for the shit he does. He's not boring the character. He's me. He ain't doing shit. That's the stuff he's doing now. It's entertaining. <laughs> that, that whole... Hold on, hold on. Wait, let me try this again. Let me try this again. And then Maurice go, take two. That is entertaining. <laughs> he'll, he'll, I'm supposed to hate the, the Miz for the shit the Miz do. Not because of his personality. Yeah, but Actually, he, he, he he's he's supposed supposed to for his personality. I hate it that ended with a roll up with the tights. I'm tired of roll up. You know, hey, I'm hey, tired of roll up too, but it was done right. Yeah, what's done? Because, first of all, what you call it was Sami Zayn assaulted Kevin Owens. <laughs> but, no, <laughs> but no reason. Yeah, no reason. No, no reason. No, that was great. It was great Kevin, for no reason. Kevin piled on him in the middle of the ring. And he won. Him and threw his ass out. He should have been done with it. No, yep. you forgot. He won fair and square. Yep. Sami Zayn was just being a sore loser. But it was. <laughs> Then they, then they distract the Miz from possibly winning. That was and, hilarious. They got on the apron fighting each other. I'm and, trying to figure out why would y'all get on the apron. And before that part, though, Cesaro gave him a giant swing with extra hot sauce on it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> extra respect. Then he put him in the cripple across face. <laughs> More respect. And the referee gets distracted by people who are not even involved in the match. The referee, like, yeah, he said respect. The referee should put respect on that submission. Are you referee or are you officiating? Yeah, they're not in the ring, they're on the apron. The Miz tapped out. Cesaro broke up the move. Are you tapped or are you giving up? <laughs> the Miz rolled him up, grabbed the tights, but this is our just, I mean, folks get on Roman Reigns about I'm like, Cesaro grabbed the Miz, put him back in the ring. Now, granted, he grabbed the tights, but that's not full blown cheating. Yeah. And gave him a neutralizer, they cheered. I'm like, when Roman beat the hell out of Triple H, folks like, man, ain't that a hill move? Triple H didn't screw you. I'm like, well, Triple H is responsible for the guy who did screw you. <laughs> this is true. Then Kevin Owens, I, I think Kevin Owens shoved Cesaro out of the ring or something. I'm not sure what happened to Cesaro. I forgot that moment. But then somehow Sami Zayn got what he deserved. He ate another pop of the Yeah, yeah, that shit was funny. Then Kevin Owens, him and the Miz interaction are funny as hell. So I thought he going to let the Miz unhook because he heals. It's Kevin Owens. No. He about giving the power power, but Maurice did the smart thing every while Edge Dog chose him. He grabbed, she <laughs> grabbed Miz, she grabbed Miz ankles and got him the hell up out of there. Good job. Before he ate a pop up power bomb. <laughs> oh, oh that was great. This was the Kevin yeah. Owens show. Then Kevin Owens sacrificed Miz on Raw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> That shit was fucked up. The Miz needs to stay, Miz needs to stay out of the grabbing range. Are you sacrificing Owens. or are you attributing? Everybody, <laughs> Miz should know. Everybody gets near Miz except for Kevin Owens have a bad experience. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I remember saying that Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho temporary team up. That shit was pretty funny. Oh my god. <laughs> the stupid idiot. Oh. Speaking of Chris Jericho. Yeah. Next match. Chris Jericho versus Dean Ambrose. Another really good match. Like, it was fun. I, I like. Really like I like that all the matches got a lot of time, even though it was due to unfortunate. This one got a lot of time. Eighteen minutes and twenty eight seconds. Got it, quite it, a bit. It didn't feel like that. that. That's one compliment I can give. Uh, to me, it did because after a while, I could have sworn the finish was supposed to be here or here, but like they extended it, which I don't mind. It just felt a little, you know. It felt like it's like if you have a house, right? But you want to build something, uh, you know, an add-on. Yeah, it, add-on. That's what it, it felt like. It really didn't feel like it because the match started like slow as hell, and then it yeah. picked up. So when it picked up is when you was really engaged in the match. So for you, it probably only went like nine minutes. That's what yeah. it felt like. That's yeah. Yeah. old man Jericho had to loosen up some. <laughs> Great man. This is how all matches go. This match was built on Dean Ambrose's dirty deed. He went for the Dirty Deeds how many times in this match? And Jericho's main goal was not to get put in the Dirty Deeds. The reason why? Because when the Dirty Deeds did hit, he lost. <laughs> why can't we have matches like this anymore? Exactly. I'm pretty sure Jericho went to them before the match said, okay, the point of this match is for me to not get put in your mood. And then that's the easy way to book it. 
Dean, just go for the move, Jericho. Just go out of your way to stop it. Uh-huh. And it puts over Dean as a threat, and it puts over the dirty it deeds. Puts as over a, the, exactly. Puts over the dirty deeds as a strong move. Of course, we are, we can't say this by every WWE pay-per-view, but it's already been established in WWE, especially in pay-per-views. There's a good chance you're kicking out of a finisher. Yeah. Yeah, but as long Even as... Brock Lesnar's not immune to that. As long as we're not doing <clears> throat> WrestleMania throat> numbers, that's cool with me, but... In a couple of pay per views like last year, they were doing WrestleMania finish your kick out. I'm like, come on, man. But you yeah, know what? All the way up to Elimination Chamber when he stopped doing it. But I get to that when we get to the main event about how you, you could better, you could do near falls much better. Because they did it in that match. They want a bunch of finishing. Actually, AJ hit, what, what, one finisher? Well, we get to that after we get to the next two matches. Anything y'all got to say about this match? I think I AJ hit point. like. Well, a shitload of finishes, but that's uh, not the point. Dean got a dub. Yeah, he needed that one. Yeah, <laughs> this was also obvious. Jericho don't mind putting somebody over. And I don't even. Funny, I thought he got a win last match. I never even noticed as far as Dean Ambrose, but. Then Dean Ambrose took the massive L, and we had the death of Mitch the Plant. Poor guy. <laughs> that poor bastard. Jericho planted his ass. He just changed <laughs> the soil from damn pot in the soil to Miracle Grow, man. <laughs> I remember when he was just a little sapling. Yeah, but he had to bl- Dean Ambrose to blame. He got Steffi on the Ambrose Asylum, tried to master her titties with all these questions, and then Stephanie just gave him a blue balls. Well, at least Mitch is over. Yeah. The floor. Mitch was so... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Mitch was so over, he had a superstar page. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch was awesome, man. Next match, I guess? <laughs> was it the Divas match? Oh, you mean man. the women's match? It's a women's match. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I shouldn't call it that anymore. Yeah. Uh, I need to put some respect on the women's match. Yeah, put some respect title. on that division, though. The, the no, I screw that. I got I, 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 Like I said, let, since let, she me, be, let me know the match. Charlotte versus Natalia. Okay, go. Since she became here, I've been putting respect on Charlotte's name outside of her <laughs> lack of selling at times. And her lack, oh, of, yeah. a, a, her lack of abs, too. Yeah, she, she got abs. Not, not for this well, pay-per-view. Well, this pay-per-view, she looked she like she... Lies, she I mean, little, she, she went look like she was partying with Rick a little too hard. Yeah, went a little heavy well, on the, the it's, Chicago it's hard to... I mean, I don't mind shit. Yeah, I'm just saying. It, mm, it's hard to kind of keep your your body up when you're on the road compared woo! to NXT. Woo! 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 I mean, is Charlotte trying to develop or try to remove her um, nest? Because it, it looked nah. kind of strange <laughs> when, when you have a kind of a stomach that... Like you ate before the event with no hips, it looks kind of weird. But but anyway, a good match. I'm not complaining. Really good match. <laughs> I tell and you. then they fucking ruined it with the end. I'm sorry. I oh love my that god, ending. I hated it. And you I loved it. So oh, oh, explain. So tired of, yeah, go ahead. I want to hear oh, this. I want to hear this. Because the fact, the only I love because he actually put fucking history behind it. That actually made it make sense. Okay. When I saw okay. Little Nature, they did. And I'm like. Y'all are fucking slick with this one. <laughs> y'all okay. did the, y'all actually got Bret Hart out there to actually redo the Montreal screw job with his knees. Oh. <laughs> and y'all used Lil Nate as the referee and I'm like, okay, I see where you're going, WWE. If that if any other referee did Lil Nate, I would have hated like everybody else. <laughs> but because that led to that promo on Raw which was a which was hilarious as hell. So it weren't for that plus the raw follow up, I would have been with everybody else who hated it. But because he actually did it, actually with history behind Lil Nate and Charlotte gave a damn Donald Trump like explanation for her act well for Lil Nature's action to get out of. Well build a around, wall around it? <laughs> no, she tried to do. <laughs> of course then she shut the hell by the fans on the queen is talking like, I'm tired. I was like, yes. I was like, Be a bitch. There you go. Like I said, yes, let the bitch take over. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm not like I'm not annoyed by your tire rain for the last couple of months. Oh yeah. I, I was also shocked by another event. Charlotte did leg moves the end. Yes. I couldn't believe it. She did target the leg quite yes. a bit in that match. Yes, I couldn't believe it. And uh but no, I hate the screw job fans. Make it a damn pin, damn it. We know I'm sick of this screw job. And the, the screw job at least wasn't planned. I, I don't want a planned screw job. That's boring. If they keep doing it, oh my god, it makes me so angry. I am so glad nobody spit in somebody's face though. I hate that part. You of the can't job. tell it's me disgusting. they didn't do that shit because of the shit Bret Hart said. Possibly. Uh, probably. That, that gotta be it because I read that they, they changed it to the screw job in it two days before the pay per view. Yeah, but Brett knew it wasn't known it anyway. Well, yeah, I ain't yeah. saying he didn't know. I'm not saying he didn't know. But I'm saying that you 
can't tell me they didn't change that shit up because it. Brett there. Yeah. Four out of ten. I doubt it. You probably changed it. No, Brett showed up and said, hey, you want to do this? That fits is worth it four out of ten. Brett didn't even want to be there. That's my point. Brett came out there and he said some of the... Brett said... I ain't going to say he said some stupid shit, but it was like, why would they put him on TV and bring him on the event when Brett just went on there and said, like, I don't have no clue what the WWE creative is even doing these days. But I mean, it's he's a, fucking right. It says a whole lot about. <laughs> funny is, yeah. it shows how weird the business. Bret Hart up here shit on the company. He's on the next pay per view. And Bret and clearly the, said, "I don't want to be here today. I don't want to be there. I'm doing this for uh, Natty." That's the only reason he did it because but he, he wasn't there. But the thing is, he did it. He did it, and he did a recreation, a recreation of a screw job. You gotta think. <laughs> look how WWE, <laughs> WWE is a petty company. Somebody had to say, "Okay, Brett said that we're gonna do the screw job." I and they approached it. it to Brett. Brett was like, "I, I mean, Brett I'm like, I don't give a fuck." But Brett that, don't give a fuck. But his thing, if they were so petty, why even bring Brett there? You're like, man, fuck off. But they already had Brett. Brett was already booked for this Here's shit. Here's the thing. And then Brett said the dumb shit after he was already booked. Even, they could have removed those. Yeah, yeah. you're right, but. It's like Scott Yeah, Ryan. I was the hey, shit hey, on him than hey, I had hey, with hey. <laughs> But the rest of the industry is weird as hell. It is, but. You I'm, literally shit on the company and Vince still allows you to get on the pay per view. Hmm. <laughs> because they got a name. And then what was so damn funny is on Raw, then Rick Flair decides he's going to take Danny Space Bounty and got shut down. He yeah. like, I'm glad he didn't take the shirt that off. shit right there was so funny. Hell Nate, yeah. Nate looked that whole like, I'm out for the just beat this bit ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take off my Rolex, take my jacket off, walk to Nettie, Nettie dropped him with one punch. <laughs> and then he got put in the shirt. <laughs> I'm surprised Rick didn't get busted open. <laughs> then, I, was, I, was like, I don't know if he got busted open, but then Nettie stole his jacket. She stole, she stole the Rolex. She, she stole the Rolex and the Hall of Fame right away. <laughs> Nate, you let a woman take your, you took your clothes and jewelry, hey. and you didn't take her to Space Mountain? <laughs> Woo! You slipping. Woo! What they, Woo! What they definitely said was, where's your watch? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't care about the Hall of Fame. We're like, wait a minute, where's your watch? Now, of course, my problem is with the match at, what, is it Stream Rules? Yeah, yeah stream. stream Rules. My problem is, it's a submission match, and my problem is like, uh, that's all Charlotte matches are anyway. See, so, I'm like, you, you like, think it's just like me, I, if, if what I would have done, I would have put them in some with well, submission of band or some shit. Cause all it's string rules. They ain't even string rules no more. It's stipulation rules. So <laughs> stipulation, <laughs> stipulations. Cause what's so extreme about a submission match? All right. What I would have done is I would have had Natty and Charlotte face each other in no submission. You can't <laughs> you can like or ban both of them. Ban <laughs> the figure eight. Ban the sharpshooter. I like that idea. But, but. Because the thing about it, like, look, look. Who can't say this shit can't happen again? You just did a screw job. So obviously, if you're gonna make a stipulation between the two, you gotta make it where we can't have the same shit again. Yep. Okay, it's a submission match only, right? What if the little Nate is the referee? And Charlotte puts in the figure eight again. And the little Nate rings the bell again. The same as that shit can happen. You supposed to make a stipulation where the, that shit can't happen no more. What the fuck they did? Submission match only. And I'm they like, I wouldn't mind that. If they didn't do the screw job. Well, they, and then they banned the Ric Flair. <laughs> the other right thing there. is, they yeah, they banned Nate. Nate but if little Nate just to come out there and do the shit he was doing, Ric Flair being out there. Like, Woo! <laughs> if they were going to do a submission match, I'm like, if they were going to be a submission match, why can't it be two out of three submissions or an ultimate submission match? That way, the one with the most submissions at the end wins, so we find out what's really better, the sharpshooter or the figure Yeah, right. that, that's better. That's much better. So either go ham idea of, you get a definitive winner by putting the other person out, out, or you get two out of three falls or an ultimate submission match where the most submissions Ooh. win. Or let's look up to the name match. of this stupid ass pay per view and just put them in a ladder match. <laughs> It'll be the first time you ever win. I think it'll be the first ever women's ladder match in WWE. Yeah. yeah. I know TNA do shit like that all the time. And it was fucked up. <laughs> it was a great match. Hmm. I would buy that. Yeah. But the yeah. thing is, you gotta do something different than just a regular submission match. Now, should they have a submission match? Yeah. But under the circumstances they just put us under, no. Because it doesn't make fucking sense. Well, I'll take the submission match. The only thing is, um, Charlotte has to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. She yeah, has to actually, bleed. I, I, thought thought of so much, deal, I, I thought of so much other shit when she said. <laughs> Not <laughs> like that, you sick hey. <laughs> You got two women and you tell them they need to bleed a cross. Oh, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> they can't get busted up in the head. <laughs> That's 
what I'm talking about. That's what I was talking about. I know exactly what you were talking about. I thought yeah. like you for one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, son. I'm, I'll be sh- you know, Charlotte being around there long enough, like, uh, Charlotte, you're going to blame damn it. I think she'll turn to Ric Flair in an instant up here Woo! and start elbow dropping on Vince McMahon in the uh, locker room or something. <laughs> they got to look good outside the ring. Nobody cares. Nobody, nobody cares about Nate up here has an all uh, scarred up face. Woo! You can't put Charlotte on the cover magazine with scars all over her forehead. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but I think that would be interesting. But yeah, but Finn, that's the only way. I, the, to be, that's me being honest. If she bleeds from the head, that's the only way I would take that submission only match. If they did, it most likely would be a blood pack. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, but before we move on, I'm gonna reiterate my score on, on that finish. Two out of ten. That's two, two. That's twenty. That's half of what Bret Hart gave. Oh, I gave it a negative two all day on my on but, my review. But this, this was this was story. This was story building would actually help that stupid shit because they actually book for like if they would have just did something better than oh we're just gonna have a submission match I wouldn't have minded because it would have been done for a fucking reason. Well, that was, this shit was done for no reason now. Well, there's plenty of time between now and pay nine screen rules, so um, they might ask Jim Lynch or change the format of the match, but I doubt it. Um, let's go to the the um, McMahon um, segment part. Yeah, might as well. Do we have to talk about this? It was long. Stephanie. Oh, oh Stephanie's was long and drawn out. It got boring after a while, so I agree with the crowd. Change. But guess what? She made all valid yeah, points. Yeah, great points. <laughs> but she dragged on, which I, so I, I could sympathize with the uh, boring chance. Oh, uh, this is a McMahon skit. Its course is going to uh, be overindulgent. Vince did not shut down the CM Punk chance in the way I wanted. I wanted him to hurl a a, a city crushing insult at the crowd, but he didn't. He just encouraged it to chant more. It's like, no, this is not what I want from you, Vince. You must insult their intelligence. Dan Chirac. <laughs> I would, you know what I have? You know how I would have counted that? I would have said he's doing pretty good in the UFC right now. You ain't had shit to say. Cause they ain't seen them yet. <laughs> How to cook? Well, actually, cook's doing damn good right now. The chamber man came out. His was a little, his dialogue was a little more sh- straight to the point. He didn't drag it out. Uh, I can't remember from much from Shane's though because it was kind of white bread. Yeah, but it, it, he but broke it the fourth wall a little bit. Yeah, he <laughs> with broke. all those headlines. Yeah, should be the, he, he should be uh, Shane McMahon should be the on screen boss. Yeah, yeah. I'm super, I'm wondering how much Bleacher Report got paid for that. <laughs> but let's be uh, ESPN. <laughs> anyway, then it, then Vince McMahon copped out. Like I said at the time of the pay per view, yeah, he copped it. out and made them co whatever mm-hmm. the raw. I, I I didn't mind that. What what had me just laughing? He's like shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to listen to me <laughs> <laughs> and all this shit. Like I, hey, yeah, that shit was funny. That shit was funny. funny you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, like I said, at the Russell, at, after WrestleMania, the ending mattered. And they had Shane McMahon won, none of this would have happened. This is true. He would have had yeah. outright control, and then Shane now, he has to share his control. He can't do everything on his own. Now Stephanie up here because he's gonna need Stephanie approved because they fifty fifty now. Yeah, but they made they made the ending that matter. But so if that story was good, Shane wouldn't be t- on TV at all. But but but, <laughs> huh? but 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 you know what happened because um Stephanie you know had her little say so. My nigga Mitch died. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Dean tried to be Titty Master in the damn work that time. Poor bastard. That way he gives her probing. Right. Well, anyway. well, Shane and Stefan just kind of went with it. That was yeah. Sort of, the same. Yeah. Sort of. It's sort of. To me, it's just creepy. It's uh, it's like it's too hunky dory. You know, it's gonna eventually, you know, yeah, spiral right. out of fucking control. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be great. My <laughs> problem is they go with it. My I problem is to push it towards uh, Survivor Series. My problem is, damn it, mm. damn it, Shane. You would, mm-hmm. uh, damn it, Shane. Now that means authority still here because somehow Triple H by proxy still has power. Oh yeah, that's that's the one thing I remember. They're trying to make us forget Triple H. We ain't forgot that man. We ain't forgot you. His like, nose will be bad. Like Larry Wilmore, <laughs> like Larry Wilmore with Bill Cosby. We I haven't forgotten you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the nose shall return. So, <laughs> damn, not sure when, but he will. He'll make his appearance. Yeah, he's gonna stick his nose in somebody's business. Yeah, he, he probably just, one of these two guys. That's he just got fans putting the last layer of dirt on the that laugh. Yeah. And he got rid of that Dollar Tree version of him in NXT. 
Boy, Trooper, boy, Trooper ain't just here to, Trooper, boy, Trooper ain't just spreading bitches dirt over Sandow's grave. Like, ah, two burials at once. <laughs> They must have um, named Mitch's Dirt Respect because he's putting it on. <laughs> 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 I can't. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, all right. But uh, let's go to the main event. Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles. Although I call it overbooked, I never said it was a bad match. I liked it. Uh, the elbow, the uh, phenomenal forearm through the announce table was a great spot. Oh, yep. That shit was too cool. It was beautiful. Um, um, I don't know who's writing this feud right now, but they doing an outstanding job. Mm-hmm, I wish yeah. they could do everything like this. <laughs> For real. <laughs> AJ Styles phenomenal, and Roman just have to go with it. Roman had some cheers there. There was mm-hmm. actually a few. Support. I was shocked. Yeah. He has a section. He has a small little section. Yeah. He's not like, like what's, what's his name? Roger Goodell? <laughs> nobody, like that, nobody like that motherfucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh... Uh, for this me- me- the overbook part did no. If you come, if you count about the uh, restarts, because Shane McMahon proved why Stephanie is half of Brennan Raw. Well, Roman gets counted out, right? Yeah. So, so that means AJ Styles win, but he doesn't get a title. So Shane comes out and restarts the match and makes it a no count out match. I'm like, Shane, Wait, why you- didn't you just make it a no? Uh, 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 no DQ match. Which was yeah. obvious where this shit was going. We yep. just, all we had to do was wait for the DQ. Yeah, yeah. And it happened. Yep. When and AJ Styles jumped what up that the top next shot Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all we had to do was wait for Stephanie to use no, yep. I'm putting that nutshot in air quotes. I mean, <laughs> That's what it was. And then once she made it, no DQ, no kind of, all we had to do was wait for uh, Anderson and Gallows. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. The redneck do boys. Yeah, and the uh, and see if if it was any merit to uh, what's my god debut and Finn Balor. It wasn't, but if you're disappointed, shut up, get over it. I, 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 I knew he wasn't coming. I knew he wasn't coming either. Yeah. Finn Balor was trolling like I hell. Said, like, I, I, I said, love that shit. I remember telling y'all on the chat. I was like, I guarantee. All right, Roman's not gonna hook up with them two, and they're not gonna turn on AJ. Now that this pay per view is too early, and Finn Balor like, is not coming. Yeah, Finn might come. It's just not. Anytime soon, it might be two months from now. Yeah. Like I said, my plan was to stretch this along until we get AJ versus the fan at SummerSlam. But then the Usos came out there and they started brawling with Anderson and Gallows. They got they got booed too harshly. <laughs> they associated with Roman. Yeah, then Roman did a body, uh, like a, a plancher, running plancher <laughs> to everybody. First of all, Roman swan died. That nigga up here look beautiful. <laughs> 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 I, I'm so majestic, but I'm not over. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, he's over the rope. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, and then that one guy like, you still suck. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's a, that, I heard that guy. <laughs> 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 that guy like, hey, fuck off. <laughs> I bet he said I bet they got posted ready. Did y'all hear me say Roman uh, That's Roman a compliment, still suck? Though. That's a compliment. I mean like, Roman had to do something impressive before he used to say you still suck. <laughs> you still <laughs> suck. But <laughs> <laughs> well, then that was you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that move was amazing. You still suck though. <laughs> but still, above and beyond, um, my favorite, favorite spot of the night. When AJ Styles left a for, that phenomenal um, forearm and Roman Reigns met him mid out with the Superman punch. Mm. Oh man, I thought it was gonna be. I was waiting for a, a airborne spear counter the whole the whole I'm time. I'm glad that never happened. I, I, like the phenomenal forearm that he hit in the ring or almost hit. I thought he was gonna spear him then, but he just ducked and then he speared him to finish the match. But I mean, when he did that. Margin at, error. Like I said, I give. I said, I get that buck tooth bastard something. <laughs> he had a carry man in the right position to catch that in slow motion. And I'm like, okay, y'all can, I said, great. They're going to milk this in a video package, and I don't care. Because that spot deserved to be seen over yes, over again. Was. Remember that one spot with the outside, and like, I think, was it Roman just got finished jumping on the guys? And, yeah. And AJ was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> he came out, like a, came out like a motherfucker out the bushes. <laughs> and popped out on the forearm. <laughs> that, that shit was so funny. Like, this nigga, he a boy. AJ on that part. Yeah, he I did. Seen, I seen AJ get on the barricade before Roman jumped on him. Yeah. So I was like, okay, he finna hit the forearm off of it. Like, okay. 
That was funny though. But it was that though. But then I heard somebody complain about like, how many fish was uh, fish or signature Roman got hit when he still kicked out. Like WWE logic always been this. If you don't immediately get the pin off, most likely they're kicking out. This, this it's not like playing SmackDown where you just build up damage meters on them and then you hit your move and then eventually you make a pin or you get to the point where some people just keep reversing your shit like go ham. You just punch, <laughs> the, you just punch his character in the face and pin them. Because <laughs> 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 they so much damage. <laughs> if you don't go for the pin and meet each other, they almost always kick out. But that was the point I was bringing up earlier. They did it right. AJ wasn't here to finish it. He was hitting the signature moves. Roman could kick out yeah, of them. And he was getting near falls off of him. To the point where, like, when he hit that springboard uh, 450, I was like, oh, shit, he finna beat him with that? Nope. <laughs> but, I mean, the, I mean, the complaint with it, like, he took so many. I'm like, they have never really did it that way. I'm like, they don't want people to bother about, oh, you built up so much damage during the match. They rarely do that. Most of it's about timing. I would have had a problem if Roman would have kept kicking out of the Styles Clash over and over and over. Yeah. I already have a problem with Jericho kicking out of the I'm, damn I'm league. just glad but, go ahead. the match did not end by count out. I would have been pissed if that was all. Yeah. yeah. That <laughs> probably would my score, would, shit. my score would have dropped from like um, a 7.9 all the way to a 5. But you know what? I ain't lying. If <laughs> that would have happened, my score would have dropped to a 5. When point. it happened, I wasn't disappointed <laughs> because it, I give JB a credit on this one. He called it right. He was like, AJ had no choice but to take the win. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, AJ just couldn't get him in the ring. I was like, this how this fucking pay per view going to end? But I was like, okay, he gets a rematch. Then when Shane came out, I knew exactly how the rest of the fucking match was going. Mm-hmm. When Shane walked out, I knew where it was going. Cause once he made it no, uh, once he made it no counter, I was like, okay, Stephanie showing up later. This is the only way that uh, Gallows and Anderson can get in without being without costing AJ the belt. I was like, okay then, I guess it's all right. Yeah, Match was great though. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Then on Raw, uh, besides the six man mm-hmm. tag, I was just gonna skip to the the great part. <laughs> the great part. That match ends. Gallows and Anderson get ready to wear Roman Reigns' ass out. They get a chair until AJ Styles don't finish it. <laughs> AJ Styles refuses, and then the Usos show up. They use the chair on AJ, and I think they take out Gallows and Anderson the same. Or after they do that, and then Roman happens to get up when he sees AJ Styles wear out his cousins with a steel chair. <laughs> And Roman goes in with a full blown Samoan bloodlust. <laughs> <laughs> and the straight just murders AJ Styles. Yeah. And the way he ended with that running power bump through the next table. Jeez. I would love if they just made that part of Roman's character. He just tossed it. He just tossed it. Tossed him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, Argh. But if they, if they, I mean, I'm, I'd be glad they made, him that, made that his character too. But boy, if they do every face he faces. They are gonna boo the shit out of Roman extra heavy when they should be cheering him. I tell you, every time you push Roman to that point, he just snaps and beats the shit out of you. Yeah, like he did Triple H, you like should. he just did AJ. Yeah. That should be part of his character. That should be cheering. So yeah. He has done it more than once, so it's like I said, it's part of his character. Well, the, no, they it. haven't officially made it part of his character. He, just, he did it more it than worked once. On, it worked on Triple H, so they tried it again. Now they keep doing it. Yeah, it's part of the character now. But now, now at this point, they keep doing it. It was just it was, his crowd reactions just keep getting worse, which, like I said, is stupid. They booed the fuck out. I'm like, it's stupid. He just can't win. Mm-hmm. That's why they should just turn up heel and let him face faces. Like I said, I they, hate this. I because hate because it it is balanced it out. They, you don't like Roman. Roman, like, I don't give a fuck if you like <laughs> me. So it'll work towards his character. I mean, I don't really see the point turning on heel. They said they already hate the man. Uh, I said turn him heel just to do what? I mean, just to make him heel. I say make him straight up psychotic. No, it's because of, <laughs> of the way he's presented. Still, he's still presented like a good guy. I mean, presented really, like he, a bad guy. He really is. He doesn't cheat. He doesn't do heelish things. He went off of AJ Styles because AJ Styles, what he saw, he wrongfully beat down his cousins with a steel chair. But that that wasn't heelish. That was like you just fucked up my cousins. No, yeah. no, I mean, that's why I said he's a good guy. Triple H kept screwing him over and over again with the League of Nations. He try to act no. like he's helping him. No, he's not a good guy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's the guy. <laughs> he ain't a bad guy. <laughs> how did we... How did I 
a fact, no. They were gonna take such a great line that he cut the day after WrestleMania and fuck it and, up. And run it in the ground. In the come on, guys. I, I mean, he did it so perfectly. He was like, come on, guy. I'm not a good guy. I mean, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a good guy. I'm the guy. That was perfect, but then I need to come out there. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a good guy. It's like, even the way he fed it just fucked it up. <laughs> I'm there waiting for the t-shirt now. <laughs> I'm the only thing left, the t-shirt. The problem yeah. is he trying he try to get him something that sticks. I don't know why he didn't stick with Believe that. It was something simple that it he could say. Simple. I don't know. He, I, can I, say, I, he can say that at the end of everything. It was simple, but I like this ass, that asshole. This one. I'm, not, I'm not a good guy. I mean, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a good guy. I'm the guy. And boy, but better than a get, big dog. He just gets drowned in booze and he soaks it. I'm like, I'm, yes. I get, I get, <laughs> I get, <laughs> give me your energy. <laughs> I feed off of neck beard rage. I get what y'all saying, but I mean, him, I don't think he could be able to say it that well week after week after week. Yeah. Exactly. He should have said it one time yep. and been done with it. <laughs> but them trying to make it to a catchphrase that he's the guy. He, actually, he should drop the phrase actually, before I thought Actually, he shouldn't be calling himself the guy. That was a joke. That, <laughs> that was a joke. I, well, I remember when, when they used it on Kofi and I started using it. I was joking around. I know Kofi's not the guy. But now you got Roman going around. And then Michael Cole don't make it sound no better. Him and JP actually, runs everything. Actually, he should only say it after he successfully defended his title to rub it in the IWC's face. <laughs> oh, man. You mean like him drinking from that cup? Glory. <laughs> Glory. Smart tears. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds funny. The guy. <laughs> well, Ryback must be big, guy. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's like, whoever wants this title, come on out. Ryback comes out. <laughs> and then Vince says, not you, damn it. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. The right. guy versus the I'm big the, guy. Ryback exactly. right. exactly. exactly. it over. Like, you might be the guy, but I'm the big guy. Roman Reigns swollen hill as well. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, that would be entertaining for Ryback's final match, him versus Roman. God, I don't see WWE budget on that contract. <laughs> What else up on Raw? Nothing. Nothing important. Nothing really memorable. No, we covered. You covered it in the course of us talking about the show. Everything yeah. that we needed to. Kevin Owens asked for his championship match. He was denied again. Why the fuck we denied? Like he, he kept saying, "It's in my contract." Uh, and Sami Zayn got a revenge. Sami Zayn came out there, start beating up Kevin Owens again. Yeah, he gave. I told you, this and do this forever, man. And then Miz got saved, like you said. Uh, Man, I think it's he uh, got sacrifice. He oh yeah, you're right. I forgot. He don't save him. Yeah. He don't want to be old. The Samoans <laughs> got booed. I mean, uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's wrong. wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah. That was wrong. Uh, oh yeah, the plant died. Oh, oh, poor no, man. No, I was feel like, what that sup? That's what, I don't think that was something My happened that wasn't related to the pay per view, but I can't remember right now. Mm, they so, had an eight man tag. I mean, yeah, or was it six, man? With New Day, it was eight. Eight, yeah. I, that I, match was very entertaining. Yeah, with the Boys, oh, thanks for saying that. Was Denver Boys about. telling the bar villain how to wrestle. First, you pick him up, then you cross face him. <laughs> then you pick him up again, then you cross face him again. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, now, now I remember the thing. Titus O'Neil is back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, now okay. Thank yeah, you for the battle. Now, 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 yeah. First of all, they gave Tyson O'Neal an injury letter. Everybody know he's back. <laughs> <laughs> Although he was already free picking Dolphin and all those big then, nets in the uh, last couple of weeks. The final four members were the recently disbanded League of Nations. Well, actually, no. Let, let's, Dolph Ziggler got his ass beat by, <laughs> by Corbin. Corbin. Oh, the Corp- <laughs> oh, my goodness. Corbin moved my little fairy heels already. <laughs> he gives a living and he does exactly what I want a heel to do. Corbin was like, wait a minute. This ain't a disqualification. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> you know he should yeah, scream. Man, he didn't throw him on the top rope. He threw him over the middle rope just so he could beat his <laughs> ass up <laughs> back in the ring. And we got broke. And then he got yelling at Rusev. Hey, throw him out. Rusev, pick him up. He <laughs> throw his ass out. <laughs> because and then he looked down and smiling at his ass like, yeah. No, I ass ain't gonna lie. That part right there, Rusev picked him up. I was so scared. Like, I oh, don't know. It's Dolph Ziggler. It's Dolph Ziggler and Rusev. They have history. I worry that as soon as Rusev pick him up, that Dolph Ziggler is somehow going to super kick Rusev and Rusev goes to the top rope instead. And mm. <laughs> Corbin, like, fuck it and walks off. <laughs> that would have been funny. But, uh, yeah, the last four bills was the League of Nations people. And uh, Zack Ryder. Yeah. Who? 
But that right, he got the boots put to a medium style for a bit. Then the, uh, you know, that one medium LOA, style. LOA went with against each other. Yeah, that was that <laughs> medium style. Dude. They yeah. thought they eliminated Zack Ryder. They went off on each other, and eventually it ended up being Zack Ryder by himself. And I'm like, like for somebody that y'all aren't really pushing, I'll give y'all this. Y'all at least give him a chance to actually entertain his fans. Cause that was an entertaining moment, and man, fuck Michael Cole, cause he basically <laughs> spoiled the ending. He said, is that right? Really gonna do it again? And I'm like, JBL start doing that shit too. I'm, I'm like, like, all right, Rusev versus uh, Kalisto. Yeah, I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm like, anytime I hear announcers, it's not even in just wrestling. I don't feel like it's a curse when an announcer says it's so and so gonna do this. Usually, the opposite happens. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, oh, this is a chip shot field goal. Nobody ever misses these off the uprights. Rusev versus Rusev versus Kalisto. I can buy it. Yeah, I can see that. Lana's back. I'm like, please me, please, please me. That means when Rusev wins, he's gonna drop the flag again. And please let Good Mike Word be wrong and say, and John Cena. Actually, no, John Cena can come back and win it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine with me. That'll be a short bill. I don't think John Cena should be U.S. champion again. I know. Uh, I hope Kalisto keeps it active, but if John Cena does come back if he wins. It, I mean, John, John Cena come back and go after the Intercontinental title. John Cena's coming back. Why? So he can end. complete. He can win every title. Not yeah. really. For but me, though. First of all, I need a, you need a big star. In that in that title picture to elevate the belt, the, the belt's already being elevated, even though it's on Miz right now. Who? But hey, that's an A list, so it's on the big star. <laughs> oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah right. you're right. You're right. A list is don't go straight to DVD. Yeah, and they don't star in um, erectile dysfunctional commercials. Yeah, but he was Miz, young and needed the money. Miz get, and Miz get paid the same amount as. Leonardo DiCaprio or people like and also the like, Miz like Michael Fassbender hey, hey, so, hey the fact is Miz, Miz, Miz never got fucked by a bear so I mean hey, speaking of fucked by a bear at least Miz didn't start and on that note um that's it for Real Wrestling episode 44 we'll be back and I don't know when probably after um so, Extreme Rules Stipulation Rules so episode yeah Stipulation Rules so episode Obama so I guess the next episode will be episode Trump uh and <laughs> We'll see you later. Peace. And uh, don't complain if we take another week before the next pay review. Stuff came up. Put some respect on our time. Yeah, put some respect on that shit. <laughs> don't say it no more. Don't you say it no more. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so yeah, so we got to roll up on you. Look at you. It, 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 we had to roll up on you and look at you like a man face to face. <laughs> are we finished or are we uh, done? Are we finished or are we done? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, is you. Is you finished or are you done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's what I'm man.